We have Karen Hunnicky in the house again with us. And you know, we get a lot of requests for like short, just gel polish designs. Mm -hmm. Even though sometimes we do them, you guys don't like them as much, even though that's what we do in salon. So hit that like button, show us that you want to see short designs. Um, there was a set that you did on your Instagram, which this guys, this is why you post on your Instagram, right? Like you talked about this earlier, like I'm a client, I wanna see what you do and I can pick them out and just change up the colors, right? Absolutely. This time we're easy because we want it straight what you did on your Instagram, but simple. Uh, gel polish. Yep. I won't say it's simple because it's a design, but it is simple. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're in luck. It's simple. <laughs> gel polish design. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I can't wait to see the set. It's a beautiful set. Let's get started right now. Okay, so today we're gonna do a fun abstract design just in a gel manicure, but you can also do this design over your acrylic or gel extensions. Today we're gonna use our Sheer Pink 101 in the manicure color, the Ultimate Pink 101, Iris 101, Plum 101, Overdrive in the Mission Control gel paints, and our Gold Foil Leafing. Okay, so I'm gonna start my gel manicure just by pushing back the cuticles, just like you would do any other service, whether it's acrylic or gel or gel polish, you always wanna make sure that you're getting those cuticles cleaned up and pushed back. And then again, we'll come in with our electric file, our medium sanding bit. We're gonna come right through that cuticle area, cleaning up any cuticle that's on the nail, and then follow through the body of the nail, just lightly removing the shine. We've already gone through and shaped the nails, so whatever shape you and your clients decide on, on those natural nails is perfect. Okay, we're gonna come in with our swipe. We're gonna use that to cleanse the nail. I'm gonna dust off the nail first, and then we'll take a pump of our swipe on our manicure brush. We'll scrub that nail nice and clean. Change the pH balance of the nail so that it's gonna adhere very well to any product that we put on top. Now, when you're doing a gel manicure, you're gonna start with your protein bond. We're gonna do one coat of the protein bond all the way through all 10 nails. When you're working just on a gel manicure, one coat of the protein bond works really well. If you're working on an artificial, you're gonna use two coats of protein bond. Now again, for a gel manicure, we're gonna start with our manicure base. If you are working and doing this design over an enhancement, either acrylic or hard gel, you don't have to do the base coat. Just go right into your polish colors. So we're gonna get a nice thin, even coat of the base all the way through the whole natural nail. Go ahead into the light for a minimum of 30 seconds. Okay, we're gonna come into our base color. Today I'm using Sheer Pink 101. You can use whatever colors you choose, whatever color scheme you and your clients come up with. And we're gonna do a full coverage on this. So again, all the way back to the cuticle on both of our nails. One more time into the light for another 30 seconds. All right, so we're gonna come out of the light. We're gonna do our second coat of color. And I like the sheer colors for the background just because that way it gives the, the main colors a little bit more chance to pop out. Back in the light for 30 seconds. Now we're gonna get into the actual design. The fun part about doing an abstract is it really doesn't matter where you put your colors, it's however you decide you wanna put them on the nail. So don't stress about this design. It's a lot of fun. Just feel free to do wherever you want your colors and just have a good time. So I'm gonna start with my Ultimate Pink 101. And I'm just gonna do just a little bit of a, kind of a rectangle shape down at the free edge. We'll come to our second nail. This way by doing the same color on all of the nails all the way through, you're gonna save your time. You're gonna do a really quick and easy design, get your client in and out, and they're gonna love their nails. 
I'm going to go ahead into the light for another 30 seconds. Let's come in with our same color again. I'm going to just do a little bit, a second coat of that color, just to even it up just a little bit more. Some of your darker colors, you don't necessarily need to put that second coat. Some of them will actually cover in one coat. So when you're doing your designs, feel free to just see how it goes and see what you like. Then we're going to go back into our light. Okay, now we're going to come in with our next two colors, and these are the two purples that I've chosen. And again, wherever you feel like you want that color to come in, just bring it on in. I'm going to bring my color a little up higher on the sides. Let's see, this one we can just do kind of an opposite. And let's start with that for now. I'm going to go ahead into the light for another 30 seconds. I think I'm just going to add a second coat on this side over here, just to darken up that color a little bit. I think we're going to add in a little bit of a streak right through the center here. If you feel like you want straighter lines, go ahead and use uh, your gel brush or any kind of a cleanup brush and you can straighten out those lines. But again, remember, don't worry too much about it. It's abstract. That's the fun part about this. I'm going to go ahead into the light for another 30 seconds. Okay, we're going to come back out. I think I'm going to do one more coat just down our middle streak here. In the meantime, let's go ahead and take our overdrive from the Mission Control gel paints. And we'll go ahead and find my dotting tool. And let's add a few random, random little polka dots. Again, no precision, just wherever you're feeling like putting them. Maybe let's throw a couple over here. Okay, let's get that back in one more time. So again, as you're working on this, remember, you're going to be working on one hand while the other hand is in the light. So you're always working back and forth. So just these quick little stripes, if it only takes you 20 seconds to put the stripes on and go to the next hand, that's all it needs in the light. Once you do your final cure of a minute, you'll get everything cured all the way through. Okay, so we're going to do our last step with our design. We're going to add in just a little bit of gold leaf. And wherever you think you want to put it, just drop it down in. And we'll just pull apart just a little bit. And there is that sticky surface from our gel polish, so it's going to sit right down into that. I'm just going to press it down, make sure it's down in there. Grab just a little bit more. I like to kind of pull the pieces apart and then get it onto the nail. Again, just tap down, make sure that it's down in there. And then we'll finish up with our manicure top coat. And that's going to go into the light for one full minute, and that's going to cure everything all the way through. Okay, so for this last top coat, we're going to do one minute of a final cure. So when the nails do come out of the light, if you do feel like there might be a little piece of the foil poking out, go ahead and do a second coat of the top coat. That'll seal everything in. Most of the time one coat will work, but sometimes you just need that extra, just a little extra coverage on there. Again, we're gonna come back in with a little bit of our manicure cleanse. Wipe that tacky surface. And the nails will be done. We'll go ahead and finish up the last two and show you the final look.
thank you so much for watching our nail videos. To check out more, head right over here. And to subscribe to our channel, click right over here.